Welcome back guys to Trades Wildlife Adventures. Today we're going to be finished setting up a waterland tub for a pair of mud turtles. Now <clears throat> we just moved up here. I just hurried up and put this tub together just so I can have the fish and turtles set up. It's been set up for a while. Uh, the sun's been beating on it and it's getting a lot of allergies so I don't have a whole lot of plants in there because the goldfish keep eating all my frog bait that I put in there to float around. Um, the goldfish are saved goldfish from El Jefe's tank a long while ago. El Jefe never ate them and it was one of those comic goldfish and now they're just huge. And so I don't have the heart to feed them off so I keep them with the smaller turtles. Smaller turtles kind of keep uh, keep away from them. But we're going to set up this waterland tub and I'm going to, I've already set a lot of it up but I'm going to show you how to set one of these up today. The uh, first thing is, is on these waterland tubs, especially if you're going to have it outside or a filter system inside or whatever, you're going to want to either way to drain it or a way for the water to go out to, into a filter system. Um, if you're going to be having it outside, you're going to need a way for the water to drain out so it doesn't overflow because if it overflows and you don't have a lid, your turtles are just going to swim away. These ones here, we're going to try and get to breed as well. And, and uh, one of my good friends, they always told me the Waterland tubs is like one of the perfect tubs because it's plug and play, it's very easy. And uh, I'm going to show you how, to, how easy it, pre it, it is. Um, I was waiting on where we're going to put this tub. And uh, I, I ended up setting it up right by the patio. So in the morning when I have my morning drink, come out, feed my turtles, feed the goldfish. It's kind of a nice spot for it. Um, but then upper management didn't really care for that too much. Uh, they didn't want to see the tub the first thing they in the morning when they look out the back window. They like the beautiful yard. So waited for them to let me know where to put it. And uh, well, guess what? <laughs> The executive management up ahead all said, you know what, I like it where it's at. So we're going to go ahead and keep it where it's at. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to show you first, you would want to put holes in here. You want to drill for your bulkheads. Bulkheads are these things right here. Now a bulkhead is going to be, most of the time it's going to be threaded. It's got this nut. Okay. And with this nut, in between the nut and the plastic piece there's a rubber washer and these are used for fish tanks you can use them in tubs like this as well for any plastic containers <clears throat> you can get them all different sizes the one that I'm using for this tub is one inch uh, one inch so far has been really good to me for these tubs so uh, what you want to do is you want to drill a hole figure out where you want to put it and make you can't drill it and then be and then like whoops sorry I want to move it move it to a different spot no drill once that's it you're done um, so what I like to do is with these plastic ones is I like to use a hole saw drill for for these and you want to buy a hole saw drill kit that's for wood to go through the plastic <clears throat> now um, I bought this set here and you're wondering what well how do you know which one to use well what I do is I figure out which one fits perfect over the threads. Now this one is just right on the threads. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's just right on the threads. Uh, and then the next size one is really loose. And if you're still not sure, like, oh man, I don't know which one to use, what I like to do is I like to take the two that are very close, the one that's like right on the edge and the wobbly one, and then what I'll do is I will get a piece of scrap wood. Get a piece of scrap wood, okay, and you drill your holes. So as you see, the big hole right here, all right, little one right here, Right? So now you got your two holes drilled. Now, <clears throat> the next thing you want to do is after you got those holes drilled, you get yourself your bulkhead. All right. Let me take this nut off. 
And I'm I'm just like doing this on an o OTF of what they used to say when we were filming back in the day, which is on the fly. So this is new to me. I'm trying to get y'all to watch me and stuff. So this is going to be interesting here. So now here you got your bigger hole. So as you see, if I put it in, okay, it's real wiggly. Okay, it's it does cover that a little bit, you know, but there's a lot of play. But that other one, <clears throat> it fits perfect. Hardly any play, okay? Just enough so you can put it in and out, okay? And then, now you can just go ahead and put your nut on there. And that's a perfect one. All right, so that's how I figure out what whole saw, whole saw size to use on my bulkheads. Uh, now, the next step is we gotta figure out where we're gonna put it. So. Uh, right now, I'm going to pause or however it's done, stop, and we're going to flip that camera around and I'm going to show you around on this tub of, of where we put all these. See you in a bit. Alright, as you see... This is a Waterland tub. I believe, if I remember right, because I bought this a long time ago, uh, this is a medium. Um, you can buy lids for them and everything. I actually pre I build my own lid, um, which is right over here. I built my own lid. Uh, but right now, I really haven't been needing to do a lid for this. But as I was saying, uh, we want to do a uh, put in the bulkheads. Now, for an outdoor enclosure, the most important bulkhead that you need is an overflow. Now, you look right here, I got the overflow over here. So underneath, on the side here, I put the bulkhead down close to the bottom here. And this is a one inch PVC. This is called a Street 90. So it slips into the fit-in. All right, I can slip it into the fitting right there. Boom, done. You can use a regular 90, but I like to use a street 90. That way you can just get that snug close. Um, now, when I use that, I, 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 put, I put the overflow low on this. And the reason why is because I never know what, what I'm going to do. Everything changes all the time. And so with this, I can actually use it and I can drop the drain all the way low so I can have very shallow water or I can raise it up higher. Uh, with this rebuild that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make it a little bit higher. I have a screen right here. So when the rains come and the water comes up, the, it'll go down. And with the screen, it'll make sure no debris goes underneath there or fish or turtles get sucked up in there. Now, when I, I had this inside for a while for other animals and I used a wooden platform to I took some plywood cut it just right that way the animals can go up there and get dry but these are made for breeding so you can put soil so stand by while I clean it up all right guys so I moved the panel I moved some rocks so you guys see what's going on because like I said I already started building this but I wanted I want you guys to see what what I do so you guys can see how to set these up if, at your own house um, now in the land part of the turtle tub, what I like to do is I like to put a bulkhead in the dead center of it. Okay, it's another one inch, but that one I, I made, it was a uh, female fit in of a bulkhead, which means it has threads. So I put it in the center and then I put a male, one inch male adapter and screwed it in there, okay? And that way, you can have a little bit of water on the bottom of your soil. And then you have, I used inch and a quarter PVC. I would cut it just right, okay, and angle them like so, right to that uh, bulk, that, that male fitting that's coming up. So that way, there's a little bit of water in there. That way it will keep your, your soil moist. At least that's the thought between it uh, about that is, is, is to keep that 
moist. And then there's uh, when you're at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever hardware store, there's a thing that is for lighting, uh, for those lightings for uh, office ceilings and stuff. It's called Egg Crate, which is this plastic stuff. And I bought that, set it, cut it right perfect for the bottom, put it on top of those pipes that are laying there. Those pipes hold it up off the ground. And then I take this uh, white rock here. You can use any rock because this is just going underneath the soil. And you just fill it in. All right. Once it's all filled in, you can't see it, then it then, then it's good. Okay. This is to help fill the soil or sand or whatever meeting you use. doesn't go all the way through. That way it, it will go. The, if it rains, it goes through your soil and your soil drains and it doesn't flood. You don't want, you don't want it to flood because if it gets soaked, your, your eggs are going to go bad. Now to help keep the sand out, I'm going to use a little bit of shade cloth. You can use cheese cloth. You can use uh, anything that water will go through. Okay, and this is where I'm going to put the soil. I'm going to put the soil in here. That way the turtles can um, nest in there. And these are mud turtles. So mud turtles, they don't really need really, really deep substrate to, to lay their eggs. Their eggs are real tiny. When the babies are born, they're just so cute. They're just like little tiny things. All right, stand by. All right, guys. Now here, this is where we're going to go ahead and put the soil in. And uh, we put the rock, we put the pipes in there, we got the drain pipe in there, that bulkhead underneath. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fill it up with soil. Now, when you want to pick a soil or, or a sand, sand's really good, um, soil's good. You can pretty much use just dig up your own backyard and put that stuff. Um, here it's like real sandy and I, I don't want to, I wanted to actually a little more soil type stuff. What I'm using is a topsoil and when you buy topsoil, you want to make sure it's organic, there's no additive, like, uh, man that likes bright. You want to put an, you don't want any additives like miracle Grow or anything like that. You want all natural, nothing added to it. This is a top uh, a topsoil. It has moss and all kinds of nutrients in it. We're gonna go ahead and dump it. See, I just I just been waiting for executive, the higher executive, the, the head boss to, to go go ahead and put it there. Also, what I did to set this up is um I put bricks underneath it, so uh, solid uh uh, those um, cinder blocks and I put the cinder blocks in that and I leveled it all out I always like everything level level put this in here almost there I, I want to bring this soil up to this edge here and I want to pat it down I don't want it to uh, be too tight or too loose you just kind of want it right even if it even if it does get a little little um, solid as long as you can take your finger and like scrape a hole into it that's good I mean, I've seen turtles dig in the middle of a of a a, a packed dirt road. You know, turtles—they're they, just amazing creatures. All right, I think this is just about right, maybe. Let's see how this levels out. Um, I'm probably going to need a little bit more, but before I go any further, uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to kind of spoof, spoof it up. 
um, for the uh, upper management. Uh, that way, uh, you know, it looks nice. You know, things gotta look nice. So let me go, give me a second. Whew. Man, I had to run to the store real quick and, nah, I'm just joking. All right, um, this plant here is, uh, does good in full sun. It's a perennial. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it looked pretty. It's not toxic. Uh, but we wanted to plant this. It's got these really pretty flowers. I just wanted to add some kind of planting system in here. Um, one of the other plants that I'm going to be putting in here is um, lavender. Mmm, because lavender smells good. And, you know, when you come out for a drink, you want to you want to smell something good. You don't want to smell dog poo. You want to smell something nice. So we're going to go ahead and plant some of this lavender in there as well. Um, this definitely takes full sun. So we're going to kind of put this, I'm guessing like kind of like right around here. This, I don't know if this takes full sun or not. Yeah, this one takes full sun as well. I'm thinking... You know, I'm going to switch this up a little bit. This is pretty. This is going to put this around here. This I'm going to put a little bit closer to the seed in the while we're sitting there. We, mm, breathe in that good. Whatever this is. Breathe in that good lavender there. Whew. All right. So let's go ahead and put some of this, these plants in. All right. So take this here sucker out. Now, now, I'm gonna pull it right here. Now, I like to break them up a little bit. Um, that way, it doesn't get root bound. Break this up a little bit. Yeah, get all those roots all happy and moving and loose, kind of like going to the chiropractor. All right, here we go. Put this dirt back in here. Now I'm bringing it up a little bit higher than it because I am gonna add still a little more soil. This one's gonna go right, y'all. Take this out right here. You can just use your hands. There's nothing wrong with using your hands. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it up, up, up. Now I'm not, I'm just squeezing just a little bit and it's breaking up really good. As you see, you can see the roots are loosening up a little bit. All right, now I'm just going to put this all back up in y'all. Again, I'm going to have it raised up a little bit higher because I am going to add some more soil in here because I, I, it's still a little low for me all right here we go soil all right let's move this around yeah yeah That's about uh, kind of where I want it. So now I got to add a little more soil. One, two, three. It was four bags of soil for this. The rocks, you only need like one bag. If you're buying it from like a Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, just one bag of rocks for that bottom. And one, two, three, four bags of soil. The soil is uh, 0 0.75 cubic feet. So if you want to be, if you get in that size, you know, that you just get 0 0.75. Man, almost. I, I think I am going to use all four. Yay! 
I've been looking forward to doing this for so long. I've been building like a little nest box for for this um, mud turtle, and she really just did not like the nesting box. But I'm hoping this, because I've been seeing her come out at night, and she's been coming up on that wood, and she's like, man, I want to. So now, now she can. Uh, I got this all going good. All right, so now we got that. Um, now to deal with your, now that we, now we got that going, to deal with, with your green water, uh, your algae in your, in your ponds, one of the things to get rid of those greens is you can, you can use UV lights, which do get expensive. You can use chemicals. I'm not a big chemical guy. I don't like using chemicals um, like that. Um, or you can plant plants. If you plant a lot of plants in the water, that will pull the nutrients out of the water and you can really like, uh, it, it helps get the green away. So we got some more plants to plant, but these plants are going in the water. So stand by. All right, something I want to show you is I planted some canna lilies in this tub. And that's to help with this green. I, when I installed it, the green's just overtaken it. So plants help take nutrients out of the water so algae doesn't grow. So I'm trying to get more plants to grow in here. Right now, I bought some canna lilies. I have this um, type uh, water plant type pot you can buy at like Home Depot, Lowe's, any water and garden store. I put um, this uh, small rock stuff on the bottom for the, my uh, substance for the, the roots to grow into. And then I got some big river rock for to, to hold it in. And so far the can of lilies doing really good. And then I went to Lowe's and I bought um, one of those uh, uh, lily pad uh, things. Or I think I... One of these lily pad things from Lowe's, twenty one ninety eight water lily collection. You get three of them, you know. And honestly, it was sitting around my house for about oh shoot, almost a month in this box. I planted it, and it started growing in one day. This is uh, just a few days growth so far. I use the same thing, one of those baskets. And I planted all three in here, and I just used river rocks to for the uh, substrate because it already comes in like a bag of stuff. So I put it in here. I even put some uh, root tabs inside here to help with the growth as well as the canna lilies. This lily's already growing pretty well. Um, I just drained it just to kind of uh, do a water change and also help get some of this green out. Um, but yeah, they're they're doing pretty good. I I'm I'm really gl glad with it. The you see how it's all screened on the side. That way the water can go through there and the nutrients can get absorbed out of the water. I'm gonna be putting some more plants in there. I'll let you all know on the updates of what's going on with it. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Canna lily is doing so far good though. Um, I planted these plants here. They're doing good. And so I added some river rocks here. The reason why I want to add these is so when the turtle goes in and out, it doesn't pull more substrate in. So also turtles, they are very uh, seclusive, especially when they're laying their eggs. So they can hide behind the bushes and also the rocks and they'll feel more comfortable. So we'll see what's going on. And uh, I got my pump there and uh, I got a filter on the pump. Let me show you guys that real quick. This is a, uh, a magnum pump, an old one. The motor went out on me, but I was like, well, how does it work? All the motor does is pull the, get the propeller to spin to suck the water in. Why don't I use an external pump like this? Sucks it in, goes right in there, 
and it's it's still good i didn't have to get a new motor for it or anything and uh this is a little more waterproof for being out in the rain so it's working out pretty good for me so far um still got my goldfish i just put my um uh chemicals in there to treat the water i've been letting my garden hose run because there's you know the sun beating on the garden hose it got really hot so we're going to go ahead and start filling this up so so far this has been really good the chemical i'm using sorry about the whole moving around and you know i'm filming by myself right now and new to do this type of I'm used to having my own cameraman following me around. I haven't done that in a while, but here we go. I got, I'm using this stuff. The API Pond Stress Coat makes tap water safe. Um, this is the first time I've used this brand for this. Um, I've have used this and with, it's always been really good for me. Um, but I was at, uh, I think it was Petco or Pet Supermarket, one of those. And I, I, they had this one. So I was like, you know what? I use this one for my in, internal, my inside fish tanks for my guppies and stuff. And, and it works, works good for me in there. So I was like, well, let's give it a try for the outside pond. So right now we're going to fill it up. And this is, again, this is the medium uh, turtle tub, turtle land tub. And uh, the mediums hold 60 gallons of water. Uh, so right now, the main turtles I have in here is uh, two mud turtles, male and female. And uh, I just went to a reptile show in Orlando, and I bought a trio of uh, eastern pond turtles. turtles. Uh, the, and I'll do a video on those a little later. Um, and uh, we'll talk about little bit about those and and some more videos i'll teach you a little bit about mud turtles and the care and stuff but for now i'm just showing you guys how to set that up um now i did tell you drill your hole you have your 90 right in there your screen top and for now i just have the water coming out and just out away from the wall into the yard working for now this is just a temporary setup as i get more and more tubs it's going to get a little more elaborate i'm going to start having more filter systems um and uh underneath what i'm going to do is uh i still have that hole for the substrate underneath here i'm going to screw this on so i can get another pipe to come out and out away from the wall just so i don't you know mess up our foundation of the house so but there you have our pond. So it's about finished, filled. I plug it in, and one of the things that I use for the extension cord is one of these green things. Um, I, back in the day, I used to put a little plastic box, and I used to you know, wrap it up with electrical tape just so no water gets in there and things like that. But this is a very good seal thing. It's like four or five bucks. Might as well get it for safety. You know, safety is number one priority. But here's the pond. It's all filled in now. All right, it's all filled in. Threw some food in. We got some turtles swimming around. Nom nom nom. Mm, nom 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 nom. There's the mud turtle. That's my female.
It's like, there goes my food. Um, nom, 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 nom. And then the other guys, they've been hanging out by the can of lilies. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. So this is the end of the video. I am so glad that you guys stayed with me this whole time. All right. So uh, I hope you guys learned something. Try it out. If you see something or uh, have any other ideas, put them in the comments below. That way I can, I'll can i read them and I'll learn from you guys too because we're all learning together. And uh, anybody can teach anybody something. You just got to be willing to learn and uh, receive it. And so... Thank you for watching and uh, can't wait for our next adventure.